of Virginia. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I want to thank the uh, gentleman from Kentucky, the chairman of the Appropriations Committee in the House, for his leadership bringing this bill forward. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong support uh, of this measure providing for the continuing resolution. Madam Speaker, today millions of Americans across this country are struggling. They're struggling to find good paying jobs, and they're struggling to pay their bills, and their frustration with government continues to grow. These Americans, these hardworking middle class Americans, are counting on their elected representatives to show leadership during these hard times. This continuing resolution will keep the government funded at its current level without increasing spending on the discretionary level while Congress finishes working on a real budget. Americans are tired of seeing their government continue to spend more and more of their hard-earned tax dollars. And for the first time since the Korean War, it will be possible to have two consecutive years of discretionary spending cuts. This resolution will also protect the working middle class from the devastating effects of Obamacare. Each week, we hear stories about how both major employers and small businesses are cutting back benefits and cutting back hours. The President's health care law is turning our full-time economy into a part-time economy. Even the heads of major unions, who were once so supportive of Obamacare, want to see this law drastically changed to avoid further, quote, nightmare scenarios, unquote. Let's defund this law now and protect the American people from the economic calamity that we know Obamacare will create. Americans back home are fighting for their families. And we in Congress were sent to Washington by our constituents to fight for them. They have put faith in their leaders to do what's right. For this entire Congress, the House has led on restoring faith in our economy and trust in our government. We should pass this continuing resolution so the, fin so the Senate can finally begin to do the same. Again, I'd like to thank the gentleman from Kentucky, the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, Hal Rogers, for his work on this measure, along with the help of uh, the gentleman from Louisiana, the Republican Study Committee, Chairman Steve Scalise, for their hard work on the issue. And I urge my colleagues to support this resolution.